Hey, Gmo here. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to talk about mutations and stacking mutations. As you can see behind me, I have quite a few baryonics. Well, I actually, I got quite a few uh, everything in here. This is one of my private servers. This is actually my breeding server. On this server, I have nothing but breeders. This is all I do on this server is breed mutations. But friend, somebody I met wanted to know how to stack mutations. So I figured I might as well do a mutation video. Well, you want to start off on whatever dino you want to do mutations with. I figured I'd do baryonics since I haven't done baryonics yet. I did Gigas, Theories, uh, UDs, Rexes. Um, if you want to do egg layers or ones that have gestation period, uh, either one is fine. I prefer egg layers, but I have done gestation period because I did uh, thylos. But you want to tame as many as you can, male and female. And then you're going to go through them. And it's best to have a pad and paper with you. And if you want to name these one, two, three, four to make it easier on yourself, go for it. But what I do is I'll look through the females. Like this one here is 3168 health. For me, like with a Baryonyx, I look at their health and their damage. I look for the best health and the best damage. Because what you want to do is you want to find the best health and the best damage you have of each and every one of them. So you would find the best female and the best male. And actually, uh, we're at 3872, 308. Even if... Let's see, 3872, I think, was our best. Yeah. So we're going to take her. I have several mods on this server. We're going to take her. Because what you're going to try and do is get your base pair. And then once you get your base pair set. Oh, wow. 43. Actually, he would be our best. Let me throw her back out real quick. What was her damage? Her damage is only 308. So this has got the highest health so far. So we got a 4312. Because what we're going to do is we're going to mate the two together until we can get a male and female of the same health and the same damage. And then keep mating those two until we can get a flock of nothing but females. So we'll have one male and at least 10 females, all the same health and damage. And then we'll keep mating the two of them together. Like what I have here, these are all base female theories. All their health, and this is no mutations. No mutations whatsoever on these guys. And you can see they've been bred many, many times. And they got 8,500 health and a 384 damage. And their level doesn't make a difference. Like this level is 287, 287. I think I had some, yeah, there's 289s. And they're all identical. Um... Let's see. Here, let me get underneath here. You're not going to let me under, are you? Oh, there you go. And this is my breeding male. He's got 23 mutations. His base health, this is the health one, is 15,000 health. And actually, I got a damage one out here. There's a 20 health. Uh, 
because I think damage is beyond that. I think this, that's base damage, base mail, 2020. Well, anyways, let me get back to this. I'm squirreling off. Anyways, we need to find a good damage. Uh, 33, 290, 331, that's not bad. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We have a mail, right? Yeah, we got a 4,300 mail in the, with a 319. So we need to find a female hired in 319. I mean, if you're on official servers, this is going to take a long time. Being that I'm a, on a private server, this doesn't take long at all. I got a 337. Uh, 337 it is so far. 325. Alright, I got a 337 here. Nice color, too. Okay. So what I would do is take this female with that male. Yeah, this is uh, actually called the uh, V2 Soul Terminal that I'm using. A lot of people call it Pokey Gun. Pokey Gun and Pokey Balls. I put these two on mating, and these two will continue mating. Uh, let me get a, uh, do I have one over here? Um, nope, I just grabbed another one out of the box. I don't know if they're close enough to the air conditioners to hatch the egg. I have everything in here. Uh, nope, that one's got 20 things in there. I thought I had some mutators on me. Guess not. Now, this is the soul terminal here. This is a very convenient item here. Option, newborn baby trap. This will automatically pick up the baby. So once the egg hatches. If you want to fast forward, this is, there's going to be, or I'll probably fast forward the uh, video. Because I'm going to hatch as many eggs as possible with these two. To try and get the... 337 damage with the 4312 health. I thought I had a higher damage. It must have been on the male. 290. If it if I do have a higher damage, once I get 314. And then all these extra ones that I tamed, and these were all various teams from uh, around the island or actually around Ragnarok here that's where I'm at here let's see uh, nope this, oh, we're close enough to the air conditioners uh, like I said it's uh, accelerated two minutes to hatch that once it hatches this will automatically pick it up now one thing you definitely want to do is when the egg hatches do not imprint on it. You want to keep all the original stats on the eggs or on the babies. This way you know what you're dealing with until you get your final product. Because like all those theories over there, all the gigas I've done, which literally I've done hundreds of gigas when we were on extinction. Um, you don't put any because the Gigas, I think I got uh, 28 damage mutations on the Gigas. Those things are beasts. 
Um, you don't want to put any imprints on them until you get to your final um, mutation and you're going to start using them because then you're not going to know exactly what your stats are on it. And for stacking them, once you get your mutation, if it's not the mutation that you're looking for, like uh, if I'm going to do, say I'm going to, once I get my base, um, oh, they're going to start mating already. And that one hasn't even hatched yet. Good. Um, once I get my base uh, baryonyx and I start uh, breeding them and I have, say, nine or ten baryonyx around um, here, I'll show you how to set them up, too. Now, I know if you're on, because uh, I'm doing this for a guy on Switch, you have to have them on Wander, which you have to build a little box around them, because it really sucks, because I did it on Switch. But here on uh, the PC, you don't have to worry about it. You have mating. This is what I did with the Rexes. I have, I think, 14 Rexes here. I put the male in the center. All these females are on mating. So as soon as I put the male on mating, every one of the females go on mating. This will automatically pick them up for me, the soul terminal. This is actually pretty neat. Go to behavior, enable mating, and you see the hearts on every last one of these. Well, let me shut him off. I'm not doing this right now. And this guy is, I got uh, 15 and one, so 16. Sometimes it'll jump to the other side if it does, as long as it's in the parameters you're looking for. And these Tech Rexes, these were a fluke from a buddy's um, server, private server. These are beasts. Now these have not been imprinted. But when I show you these, these things are, I mean, they're out and out beasts. That's base, unimprinted. 25,000 health, 843 damage. No imprints. Thirty-two and thirty-two on mutations. These are out and out beasts. On the island, we took two of these to do the uh, overseer battle on uh, beta and gamma, and we beat it. Okay. Oh crap. Bit of hatch. Might have hatched. I don't have any soul ter soul things in here. Might have hatched and died. I wasn't thinking. Because. Uh, yep. It hatched and died. Doggone it. Oh, wait a minute. I got more than one soul terminal over here. Wonder if this one picked it up. These things are at a long range. Yep, there it is. Whew, thank God. Okay, first one, you know, being that it's pink, it's a female. Okay, that's the cool thing about Soul Terminal. All right, it did come up with the 4,000 um, health, and it's got 337 damage. Was that the damage we wanted? Uh, 319. 337. Okay. So actually, so that female came out with both that we wanted. So I can turn this female off. And what I do with... I had them in here. Oh, I know I'm squirreling real quick here. So we do have the female we want now. It's got the health and the damage.
Now I'll show you how to. Oh, I, now I know where to write that. I put them in here. I bet you anything. Yep. This one here, I could not get rid of this one. It's not as strong as the other ones. This, I, the color was so unique. This was only at 17 mutations. I could not get rid of that theory. I had so many color mutations, but then when I hit 20, it just stopped. Okay, but we did get our first one. All right, take some element out of here. Yeah, there's a lot of mutation videos online that you can watch. Mine is the quicker version. Okay, change mode. Uh, okay, that's the one I want. All right, what do we got here? That's the one we wanted. 337, 43, okay. Oh. Now you're going to dig this. All right, that's the new baby. And now, give them some food. Not that they're really going to need it. Oh, was that the right one? Yeah. That was even a bigger boost. That's called a mutator. It's part of the uh, mod. I have, uh, oh, it's the S plus mod on this server. The other one's got the uh, superstructure. This way I can grow up the uh, dinos pretty quick. That thing's got a five minute cooldown, but this thing will be fully grown before the five minute cooldown. It's already at 50%. And once it's fully grown, I'm going to. Ch Oop, stuck on the tail. Let's go ahead and get this female out of here. Now, all these extra uh, baryonics, uh, it sounds cruel, but I will end up just killing them off. All that time spent uh, using the wyvern to tame them. And yeah, my upper level up there is full of wyverns. Wyverns and drakes. Give a quick tour of that, though. I do have a few other items. Oh, wait a minute. Throw him down. You stay there, buddy. I got some Reaper Kings here. I found this little gem. Thought we left it behind. A Thylo that uh, was a freak accident finding that thing. That was uh, my old tribe mates. Um, two that uh, when I was with my old tribe mate we tamed, and then this one I tamed on my own. Uh, get my little glow pet back. I can't, if I bring this near the, uh, here, I'll show you. Get it near the Reapers. And you see how they go on fire? Yeah, they don't like the uh, glow pets. They burn. Okay. You done? Good. Have a little shot. Uh, give me that, whatever food you didn't eat. Okay. You'll be eating out of the food bins now. That's yeah, the easiest way to move them around. And yes, I know it looks like it's half dead, but it'll be fine. Now, they both have the same stats, so what we want now is nothing but females. 
All the males can we can just kill off. Thought there was another eight. Oh, I bet the other one picked it up. I gotta disable that one. It did. Picked it up. If it's the same one. Uh 43, 327, yeah. I'll have to disable this one. Yeah, disable this one. Because for some reason this one's picking them up. I don't want this one to pick up the uh, baby, so one of over there. All right. Then when I get a bunch of bunch of the females, I'll do them all at once. Uh, I think I got some more of those over here. Yes, I do Babylon. that in there. So I got extra in here. Oh yeah, that's where I got all my extras at. Oops, sorry, Grey Goose. This was like one of my first uh, RGs. This is an old timer. Couldn't see getting rid of it. This was during one of the holiday events. I love those guys. They're Jaboas. A couple little odds and ends stuff in here. Oh, the vultures are up. Uh, they were during the holiday event, too, on Scorched Earth. Okay, let's get these in here. I'm going to make sure I got enough of these. Oh, there's enough in there. It's 240. And while I'm waiting, uh, I might as well take a look at the dragon, see how they're doing. That is a elevator, by the way. And there's a few dragons up here, tamed over time. I got fire, ice, poison. I got some rock drakes up here. All the rock drakes have got uh, tech saddles on now. I got a few extra rock drakes, but they're sitting over on Aberration still. I haven't transferred them over yet. I need a bigger base. Yeah, I got, uh, during the holiday event, I got a few new colors. For a lightning dragon, that is really bizarre looking. That's why I kept it for level 64. I tried breeding it for color into the other ones, but uh, the levels were no good. Same thing with the fire. It was only a level 100, but the color was awesome, so I kept it. And Blaze, this is my oldest one. It cannot go up in level anymore. He don't go out anymore. He doesn't have the strength or anything. He's got the melee damage, but that's about it. He was originally from uh, Ragnarok. That was my very first one. Come on, elevator. There you go. Then I'm working on, uh, I lost my uh, Yodis, my mutations on these guys, so I started these over again. I think I'm on nine mutations. I, might, what, I think I'm working on health. Yeah, I'm working on health first. Or I'm up to 15 on these guys. 15K. Seven mutations. And you guys seen the Rexes. And the Tapajaras are just the steel uh, wyvern eggs. You can outmaneuver a uh, wyvern with a Tapajara. PT's a little bit quicker, but the Tapajara, you can actually stop, go sideways, so they're a little bit more maneuverable. Okay, come on, keep breeding, guys. How many we got so far? All right, well, smoke them if you got them. We only got two in there right now. I'm going to go ahead and move these baryonics here. Um, actually, we'll probably do all the breeding against the wall over here. I'll make a horseshoe formation like I have with the... Uh, 
theories and the rexes and get them going well since i was showing off everything else i'm gonna show let's see that's the base oh it's only eight health on these guys oh no no that's the health where's the damage oh 23 damage we have but this is imprinted though i don't have a base one right now imprinted with no levels put in him he's at 35,000 health and 544 damage. These things are a killing machine. For a Giga, awesome. Really awesome. If you need one for your solo player, let me know. <laughs> I can breed one up for you. And this is the one I use for meat runs. I've had him for a long time. He got quite a few levels on him. But he's nowhere near the level, excuse me, of the other guy. He's got uh, 20 mutations total with uh, damage. He didn't get any health mutations. I just kept pumping everything into health for his uh, levels. Because uh, he was used on extinction for going into the wasteland. Ah, oh, thanks for pooping while I was looking at you, bud. Yeah, that's what we all wanted to see. All right, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. I won't be speaking until we can get uh, all of our eggs out, so I'll see you in a few. Uh, you can go ahead and keep watching because it's going to be at like 400 times speed. All right, talk to you in a few. As you can see, I put out the other two. So now we got three times the amount of eggs. They're all the same health and damage, except, well, except for the male. The male doesn't have the uh, damage. So as soon as we get a male with the same health and damage, we'll replace that male. And this way, uh, everything will be equal. It'll be easier to get our mutations. And then this way we won't get the oddball with the lower damage. Now, I don't normally do this, but one of the best mutation videos out there, and I mean the best mutation videos, it's a very long one. It is from Seashell Gaming. The girl's name is Michelle, and she has the best mutation videos on how to stack mutations. So, yeah, mine is the quick version. Hers is the normal version. <laughs> because I'm using uh, mods. Now, granted, she's on an accelerated server, too. But uh, she's not using mods to accelerate like the... Um, like what I'm using with the mutator to bring them up. 
She spent six months doing what I can do in a couple weeks. Oh, I thought that was inside the base. Was that a PT out there? Yep. Gamma up. Uh, that's better. So I don't have to adjust the brightness on the uh, OBS. Come on, guys. Start popping out some eggs. It's going to be a long video. Okay, I just wanted to say that. I'm going to fast forward again. Okay, now we got rid of our original male because we got another male with the same exact stats as the females. So right now we have five females. We're hoping to get at least 10 females. So we should be, well, we probably have that now. Uh, oh, we're getting a lot of males in here. Oh, hang on, can we gamma this back down? Uh, can't see it with the gamma so high. Uh, 43, 337, 43, 337. Okay, so there's two more in there. So as soon as we get a few more females, then we'll set these guys up in a horseshoe and let them go. And actually, since the eggs are hatching, I didn't check these over here. Make sure they're hatching over here. And I'll run this until we can get our first mutation, which should not take long. Now, actually, that's one good thing about this. The uh, mutator. I can set it on mutation, but you get a really bizarre mutations every so often. Sometimes a color mutation. It's got like 10 different functions. You can even use that to uh, set it up to breed dinos that are not breedable. Like the Reaper Kings, I can use that to breed the Reaper Kings or the Phoenix if I want to breed a Phoenix. But I'm really not interested in that. Oh, I want to check these eggs, see if they're incubating over here. Oh, that's what I thought. That one is. Uh, those are just regular eggs. Okay, if that one is, then we just chuck this over here. Oh, I know what to do. I should have some air conditioners over here somewhere. Um, gamma down. Uh, air conditioners. That'll work. Gamma up. I'll drop a couple air conditioners right here. Now nah, they'll hatch, no problem. Uh, 
kind of drive me nuts watching video on somebody going gamma up, gamma down, gamma up, gamma down. All right, two more of these bad. Oh, this one's no good. Get this one up. Now you see up on the in this thing on this uh, baryonyx where it says uh, mutations. This one has a mutation. This one's no good to us. We don't want mutations yet. Uh, oh, I didn't even notice this one's got a mutation. And get these males out of here. We don't want these males. Uh, I didn't even look at these. If these got mutations, they're no good. Okay, that one's fine. I wonder if one of these had a mutation in it. Okay. Because it's got a mutation, it's no good. Hey, don't have but me. Hope the male didn't have a mutation. No. Because those really didn't have any high levels. Oh, this one might. Because this has got that oddball color. Yep. It's this one. And it didn't have a higher stat either. Oh, bummer. This is the one that was throwing everything off. That's a bummer, because that one is so cool looking. Oh, well. I'm not a sentimental person. I used to save dinos like that, but when your base gets overloaded with dinos, you uh, decide not to save them anymore. Okay, so I need one more female. I'm glad I noticed that. Alright, take the males out of there because we don't need them. All right, 41, 337, no mutations. 41, 337, 41, 337. Whoa, 41. The heck was I reading? Yep, that's got the mutation. Got to get that out. Okay, these four are good. Five, six, seven, eight. Two more females, and we'll probably do more than that. Hey, get my burgers back. Actually, why are my burgers? Burgers are supposed to be over here. Everything's got put off to the side wrong. Okay, come on. I don't want to keep running that mutator. It's burning up my element. I don't want to go back to extinction for element. Okay, yeah, we get those other females, and then we'll be good. All right, that is incubating, right? Yeah, it better be. I dropped three air conditioners here, and these are non-pickable uppers. Yeah, I switched over f from the S plus to the superstructure because superstructures, even if you put stuff down, you can pick it back up. S plus you used to be able to, but not anymore. Forty-three. Yeah, actually, these guys got a pretty decent range. We might be able to get more than 10, but I'll, I'll just do the 10. Five on one side, five on the other, and then the male in the center. We get him on breeding. And see, this I can pick this back up. And we'll move it more towards the air conditioners. 
All right. Get the two males out of there because we don't need those. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. that male said a mutation. 43 through 37. That's probably just color. Yeah, see, that's a good thing because you can read it in here. You don't have to throw the baby out and hatch it and see. You can see what it is. All right, let me get rid of these two and then get those babies out. Actually, that other baryonyx can go too because that's not exactly the base. The base baryonyx is the one that's out there right now. All right, let's double check, make sure these are all the one. Dog on it. Put another one in there. All right, that one we want. That one we want. See, this is a. Oh, that one's no good. Why are we getting an eyeball? I got to double check. I think we might have another mute in there. Or oh, we're just getting a random mute. It's five, and we got five there, so that would be ten either way. We could be just getting color mutations. Yeah, I'm not even giving them any food right now. These babies I just threw out, because they'll hit the 10% faster than they'll want food. Okay. Yeah, see, now they're... 10% already, 11. So they're now eating out of the food bin. And I really don't have much fish in there, but I have kibble. That's the other thing a lot of people don't realize. I make a ton of basic kibble. I have a garden um, over on what I classify herbivore island, which is, oh, can't see the gilly. I love gilly, but when you go to look at the uh, map, it's a drag. The little islands that are right around uh, about 65, 15, they're like herbivore island. There's nothing but herbivores on there, except for a few pterodons. Um, I got a massive uh, building over there, nothing but garden. And it's low, I, that's why I'm not over there. Because I got probably about 30 uh, dodos laying eggs with a collector. Collector's a part of the S+. Plus. He sits there and collects eggs all day long. And then I'll go over there and I'll make a whole ton of uh, basic kibble. I'll just bring it back over here and I'll throw it in the uh, food bin. Every dino will eat basic kibble as food. So you don't have to stock up on meat or fish or berries. All herbivores, all carnivores, and all fish eaters will eat it. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead and move you guys. Get you guys set up. Give me the females first. Uh, which one's the male? That one is. Yeah, and don't worry about the, uh, if if you're doing this on a private server or single player, if your dinos are all bloody like that, they will heal themselves. Hey, that's only four. Oh, yeah. Of course, it's only four. Oh, then I didn't have ten. That's all right. That's all right. It'll be fine. Uh, let's see. We don't have a baryonic saddle, do we? That's all right. We'll just do it this way. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm going to have to wait on throwing you down. Put you back over here until they're done. These guys are done, aren't they? 
Yep. God, I love these things. Better than a cryopod any day. All right, you're right here. So we'll horseshoe it out to about here. Okay. Got enough room? Oh, might not be enough room. Now, see, like the cryopods, same thing except 10 times faster. Okay, let's see if we can get him in there. Oh, yes. Now, the bad thing is, since they've all been Pokeballed, they all got to be re. Oh, I was about to say, what the heck is that noise? I got the uh, lamb on my shoulders. Yeah, we could probably put a lot more over here, too. The more you have, the better of a chance you will get your uh, mutations. And the faster you're going to get your mutations. Because the way this is set up, I could probably put at least four more, maybe six more baryonics in this. stood up too soon because they're all capable of mating I could drop two more here or four more there and probably four more over here uh, what do we got in here uh, males are no good unless we got a mutation now it depends on what kind of mutation you want to go for now write down your number that you're at now we know our number is 4312 if since we're going to go for either health or damage we know our number is 4312 health and 337 damage now we got a female here uh i'm getting interference on that i think the female here is I gotta look at it. You can always take them out and look at them too. Yeah, I got a female here, forty-four eighty-eight health. I'll go ahead and pick this thing up real quick. Now, when you get a female that has the uh, what you want, so say we're gonna go for health. Now I have a female here. Well, what do we do? I would have to take this female and keep mating the female with the male until I get a male that has the health damage. Put that back in there for right now. I don't know if I want to do health or if I want to do damage for the baryonics. That's actually pretty good, though. Not much of a raise though it's only 44 from 43 12 to 44 80 actually that's not bad hmm that is tempting very tempting because then I, I'd pull our Oh, yes, right. I forgot to do this. This is our base mail. So what you want to do is this. Go to Options, Change Name, and you make this.
base mail. Don't forget that. Don't accidentally click neuter either. So this way you know that is your base mail. You never get rid of your base mail. Every one of the mutations I breed always have to have your base mail and you keep it. Because like I said, this female I have, if we're going to go with health mutation, um, we breed the female with that male until we get a male that has that health mutation. And then when he grows up, we put the, him in there to breed with all those base female. We never change those base female. They stay the same. No mutations in them, and that's it. And we just keep going from there. But you know what? Actually, I might. Female would be pretty good. And this way I can, I got to put those gloves back on. Only because I don't like them in my inventory there. Plus I could use the extra females out there. That'll give me a few extra females out there. Uh, is that the mutated one? No. That mutated one would be colored. Oh, it's the one with the purple strap or the orange stripes. Actually, not bad looking with the orange stripe. Two thirty nine. Yeah, if we want to do health mutation, yeah, actually, health mutation wouldn't be bad. Yeah, I very seldom, yeah, I very seldom use the baryonics anymore. I do the uh, thylos for caves. They're a little bit smaller. Baryonyx is actually better being taller for bats. They'll take out the bats 10 times faster. But I'm doing this here so I can show you what to do. Are they breeding? Oh, yeah, I put them on breeding. Um, Show you what to do if you get a... Uh, a female with the mutation you want. Now remember, any other mutation you get, um, don't use it. Um, like if uh, we get one that's got a mutation, a male, don't just change it out and put it in there because then you get what I call a mutt. Um, with a mutt, you never know what your mutations are anymore. If you start intermixing mutations, if you start off doing health and all of a sudden you get a, uh, a STAM mutation in there and you say, oh, why not just leave a STAM mutation in there? You're not really stacking mutations properly because typically you only get 20 mutations. But at least that's what it's supposed to be is only 20, but as you can see, I've gotten a lot more than 20. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull the mail out. As soon as I shoot him, they'll automatically turn off. And I'm hoping he's going to be far enough away from them where he won't affect them. Ah, oh, look at that. They did love birds now. Okay, hopefully it's just these two. What? Oh, yeah. What, oh, wow, we got 13 in there right now. All right. Now, when you're checking these now, you're only checking the males. Well, actually, no, I shouldn't say that. You got to check male and female because, like, I like that female there. Um, 
she had the mutation we were looking for. Now this one I can tell you right now, this is the color mutation, because in the color where it's showing all the different colors, Uh, it's popping in males. Uh, I gotta wait until all those eggs hatch. Uh, I might as well put you guys in there. Uh, let's see. Pop you there. Crouch down and get you two right here. Okay, you guys done cracking eggs? I can get in here and see what we got. It's the only bad thing about using Soul Terminal. Everything pops in so fast. Oh, yeah, you just do it this way then. Go to my inventory. Wow, see, here's another one here. There's another female with that same mu same mutation with the health. This one's got some really cool coloring in it. As you can see where it says colors. But we got her out there, but I might throw that one out just to see what kind of coloring on that. Because the coloring will transfer over. But you end up losing it by the time you get to the end, which is sort of a drag. Where's it at? I just want, I'm curious on what the colors are right there. Oh, coloring ain't that good. Where's the red at that was supposed to be in that? That was supposed to have red in it? I don't see no red. Okay. All right, all these are scheduled for disposal. And since I'm using this one next to the fairies, I just put them in here. Hmm. Actually, this is perennial. What was this one's? Oh, uh, that was maternal. We'll hold off on destroying this one. Sometimes does depend on which side it's on. A lot of times they'll go quicker if it's on uh, the perennial instead of maternal for getting a mutation. All right, let's see. Did we get a male? No, we didn't. We got a female. Uh, let's see, it says maternal, not perennial. Okay. All right, this may take a while. Oh, yeah, I want to put these air conditioners back. Get those out of there. Come on, guys, give us what I want. Actually, you know what? This is the same thing. This dino is the same thing, so I will just throw both of these. They both got the same mutation, and bring them both at the same time. First one to give me a male wins. 
and you don't have to save these females. Uh, after you get the male, these females are not necessary. But this base male, <laughs> I can't stress that enough. Do not lose your base male. And if you're transferring to another map, whether you're playing on single player, private server, always keep at least one base female. I made the mistake, and thank God, when I uh, this was on a private server, when I came back to the island, uh, my base was still there. And my base, meaning a base that I had set up was still there, and my dinos were still on the base, which I don't know how they were still alive, but my base females were still in there. Because I, my base females got destroyed on extinction by accident. So I didn't have a base female for my theories anymore. I was already at 20 health and 20 damage on them. But I've ex extended past that already. Come on, did you pop? Oop, you popped another one in here. Female. Maternal. No, nope, maternal's no good. Get rid of that. Got that one already. Oh, I didn't destroy these yet. One good thing about those soul terminals, every time I destroy dinos in there, I gain experience. Oh, and you are ready. And yeah, we'll put you right here. Um, this particular avatar I'm using here has been to every arc except for Genesis and is currently at a level 136. Capable of going to level 140. Oh, we got the mail. Let's see. 4488 and 337. There is our mail. Oops. I wanted that. We got one or two. I think they were twins. Yep, they were twins. Same coloring. Yep, not that the coloring matters. Okay, so now we can get our mail out. Oh, it's on cooldown. Pick him up. He'll die. Okay, we just got to wait. And we can shut this guy off. Wait until cooldown is over with. Get our new male grown up. Put him back in the mix. We can get rid of these two females, actually, while we're waiting. Those two females we don't need anymore. Is there anything left in this? Oh, yeah, the other male, just in case. <laughs> and then uh, go for our next... Since it's health, we're going to go for our next health damage or health uh, mutation. Should have put two here. On the other side, I got uh, two mutators because with the Rexes, my mutations were running real quick, one right after the other. Before the cooldown, I had my next mutation. But I was also doing the uh, UDs at the same time, so. And I was going through an awful lot of element. This thing uses, I think it's 10 element every time you uh, pull a trigger on it. Three, two, one. Happy New Year. Here we go. All right. Let's get these. Oh, I can do that in here. There's no more eggs in here, right? Just drop you two in here. 
Say goodbye. Oh, no, not yet. Oh, make sure this one grows up. That's 44.88 and a 3.37. And now see the mutation is maternal. What was the other one? Was that paternal? Maternal. Watch it be the other side. That was maternal too. It might take a little longer for the next mutation because it's a maternal. Paternal, it usually gets a mutation quicker. I mean, we'll still get a mutation, but it's usually not as quick. Now this guy here, we keep this guy forever. We can actually get rid of this one. This one's not needed. This one can go in here. But that one we save. Now, every other one we do, like this one here is, we will name this guy, Health one. Oops, wrong button. Health O one. So we know that is the first health mutation. The reason I didn't destroy those two females just in case say something weird happens here. Glitch happens on the server, and server shuts down, crashes. If it does, and this guy dies, then we have to start all over. That has happened. There he goes. That a boy. Yeah, put a Pokeball in you, and let's see. Since I do not have a saddle for you, i got to make a saddle. Hopefully you're in the center. Did I put you? Oh, I didn't put you guys on mating, did I? And I got one over here. I'm going to double check, make sure he's centered enough to everybody's mating. All you guys are... All the way down to you. Yep. Now all those females are mating with that one baryonyx. It's easier with a saddle. You put them on mating, you walk them in there. Well, with the Rex, I just jump up off and I'm still standing on top of the Rex. And then they all will light up. Okay, now we can kill off these. We don't need any of these. This way we don't have to look through them anymore. And those are good to go. So our next mutation will be higher than, what was that, 44? 88. And once you get the mutation started, oh wow, that's all quiet now. No more rain. Uh, once you get the mutation started, it should keep going with the health mutation since we're stacking the health. It shouldn't go any other mutation, but that doesn't mean we won't get a color mutation in there. But what, we, what we're looking for is if it does say random mutation 2 in the mutation area and we don't have a health mutation, destroy it. Because it could be any kind of mutation. It could be color. It could be torpidity. It's just going to throw us off. It's not what we're looking for. But that's pretty much it. I mean, I can do this all day long with you and make a 10-hour video, which I really don't want to do. And I think this video went too long as it is. But that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, just leave a message in the comments. I'll be happy to get back with you. Um, I, lo I love doing the braiding. As you can see with everything I got in here, everything in here has got some kind of mutation on it. 
including my uh, Ankies, uh, everything. But uh, that's about it. If you like what you saw, hit that like button and the subscribe button, ring the bell if there's a bell. And uh, hopefully uh, see you on the next video. Alrighty. Bye-bye now.